Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll try to understand how the normal distribution works. We'll see a simple example and then we'll try to use Excel to calculate some aspects of the normal distribution. So um, let's say you have a um, supermarket that is trying to sell cartons of milk. Um, so I'm just going to um, uh, assume here that on average, the supermarket sells 100 cartons of milk. And uh, let's say, based on the past data, the it you know it is known to us that uh, let's say you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 days. So um, the supermarket has sold basically 100 cartons of milk on 50 days in the past. So we have a little box here to indicate that. And then it, it has also sold 110, 120 uh, 120, 130. And on the lower side, it has also sold 90, 80, and 70 cartons. And uh, these are the number of days. So it has probably sold 110 or 90 cartons for 40 days. Uh, it has sold 120 or um, 80 cartons for 30 days and so on. Okay, so 20 days and so on. So um, so if this is the shape of the data, the data is actually telling us that this is how the demand for milk, uh, milk cartons is in the supermarket, then we could approximate uh, this demand by means of a normal distribution that kind of goes like this. So uh, what this normal distribution tells us is that there's an average number of milk cartons that the supermarket might sell on any given day, uh, just based on the past uh, data for the past one year or something. And of course that average could, uh, in reality, the actual number, of, act, no, actual number of cartons sold could be either higher or lower according to this distribution. So given this information, let's try and calculate some uh, metrics, um, maybe some practical information from this normal distribution. Um, so let's assume that this normal distribution has a, um, it has a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. Okay, so let's assume that is the case for this normal distribution. So with that, we can actually calculate some pretty interesting uh, information in Excel. So one thing we can try to do is we can calculate, um, so we can calculate the proportion of times that the um, supermarket has sold between 90 uh, or less than, let's say less than 100 uh, cartons of milk the proportion of times. Now intuitively, that basically is equal to the area of this curve to the left of 100 all the way here, this region here. And you can look at that and say that this is probably half of the total area of the curve. So the proportion of times that the supermarket has sold less than 100 cartons is 50%. You just intuitively you can say that, but let's see how to calculate that using Excel. So you can use the function called norm.dist that talks about the distribution of the normal function and then you're able to obtain the area under the curve um, for the normal distribution. So uh, let's say our uh, x value, the x value is in this case 100 because that's the number that we want to uh, calculate. Um, so, so we want to calculate basically how many, uh, for how many how likely is it that the supermarket is likely to less sell less than 100 cartons? So we say 100 here. For this normal distribution whose mean is, whose average is 100, whose standard deviation is 15, and we want to measure the cumulative distribution function. That is the cumulative area under the curve. So the cumulative probability. Um, so we say true, uh, or we can say one. Uh, and hit enter. And so that is 0.5 or 50%. So basically there's a 50% chance that the supermarket might sell less than 
100 cartons in any given day. Um, in a similar vein, we can try to find out what's the likelihood that the uh, supermarket is likely to sell less than 90 cartons in a day. So we can use the same function norm.dist and this time instead of saying 100, we say 90, comma for a, um, for a normal distribution whose mean is 100 and standard deviation is 15 and we do say we want cumulative distribution function. So we say one. So there's a 25% chance that the supermarket might sell less than 90 cartons of milk. Uh, what is the likelihood that the supermarket might sell less than 120 cartons of milk? So that would be then norm dot dist 120 comma 100 comma 15 comma 1 and there's a 90% chance that the supermarket is likely to sell less than uh, 120 cartons and now what if we want to find out the likelihood that the supermarket will sell between let's say 110 and 80 cartons okay what's the likelihood that the supermarket might sell in that range so for that we can do something like this equals norm dot dist um, so the first uh, number is 110 so i put 110 comma 100 comma 15 comma 1 minus norm dot dist uh, the other number is 80 comma 100 comma 15 comma 1 and that difference gives us the likelihood see about 66 percent is the likelihood that the number of cartons of milk sold is between these two values between 110 and 80 cartons uh, what is the likelihood that the supermarket might sell greater than 130 cartons of milk greater than 130 cartons of milk so the way to do that would be to say equals 1 minus uh, norm dot dist 130 comma 100 comma 15 comma 1 so there's a 2% chance a very small chance 2% chance that the supermarket might sell more than 130 cartons of milk so hopefully you know this gives you an intuitive understanding of what a normal distribution means how you can uh, you know kind of infer a normal distribution from uh, available past data and how you can apply that to derive meaningful insights using excel so that's it for now i hope you found this useful thanks for watching